Oasis is one of the largest uh, bone tumour units in the world. We uh, see about 190 primary bone tumours per year uh, and we've uh, been lucky to obtain grants from uh, several different funders including uh, Bone Cancer Research Trust. Uh, these studies are really important for patients um, and that's because we're looking at ways which we can do operations better in terms of predicting the response to chemotherapy. So we have a BCRT study which is looking at MRI response to chemotherapy which will help us make better decisions about which operation to do. We're also doing studies where we hope to develop a blood test to uh, find out if there are cells circulating in the uh, bloodstream of patients uh, which will hopefully allow us to follow up patients better but also potentially may develop a blood test for osteosarcoma, chordoma and chondrosarcoma. So in the past we used to treat all patients with the same tumour type the same way. We're actually now understanding much more about the biology and more importantly about the genes either within the patient or within the tumour and that we're finding that different uh, genes are expressed in different people even if they have the same tumour. That means as we know more about the biology of the tumour and the genetics of the tumour but also the genetics of the patient that we might be able to start to personalise our treatment giving the best treatment for, the, for that patient for that tumour type rather than treating all people for example with Ewing's the same way. Funding like this helps us as an organisation to develop our research capability and capacity. The funding enables us to have specific roles that free up clinicians to be able to do the doing part of the research. The tissue that's gathered, whether it's blood or biological tissue, has to be handled in a very, very specific way. The funding enables us to have a, a healthcare technician who works with the patients and also a tissue coordinator who takes the tissues uses it and fixes it uh, in a very specific way that is ready for laboratory uh, examination. That enables us to uh, look at the tissue in a very specific way and do some in detailed analysis. It helps us to understand how tissue and cancers grow, where they originate from, and importantly it helps us to develop new innovative treatments for the future. This has an impact not just on our patients here in Birmingham, but it will have an impact on patients who suffer with these rare bone cancers across the UK and worldwide. I was originally referred to the Royal Orthopaedic Hospital for a biopsy to see well, I had a lump in my pelvis and they wanted to see what it was. So. I was referred to the Royal Orthopaedic Hospital because of suspected osteosarcoma in my lower right tibia. So when I came in for my operation uh, they sort of said there's certain researches and pro uh, like projects I could get involved in and they said sort of things like what it would help and how it would help other people. I decided to take part in the study because if I can help other people then that's really good and if, my, and if something can come out of my experience and it will be kind of worth it to be honest. To be involved in research is, it feels good because you know you're helping someone else, you're sort of turning a bad situation into a good thing. Yeah it felt really good to be involved in studies because it was no pain or anything for me, but it was gaining for other people. So I was happy to take part. I would definitely recommend someone to do research because again, you are helping someone else out and you are turning something bad into something good because you're making, you're making a difference, yeah. We are incredibly grateful to the, the Bone Cancer Research Trust to our patients and our clinicians for their hard work and efforts. Without this sort of funding and without this 
generosity of the patient allowing us to gather this tissue, none of this would be possible. This altruistic giving helps us to develop new treatments and a better, deeper understanding of how these things grow and how we can work to try and treat them in a very different way in the future. We're very grateful and we thank you very much.